Hi, this is Harish here. Welcome to DB2 LUW Tips and Tricks video tutorial part 98. In this video tutorial, I am going to talk about how conversion of a table space from regular to large impacts the recovery of the table space. This slide talks about the problem scenario and solution. The problem scenario is we want to demonstrate how conversion of uh, regular to large table space impacts recovery of the table space. Specifically, the point in time recovery is impacted after such table space conversion. Uh, why such a um, point in time recovery is impacted? Because minimum recovery time, the MRT of the table space will be changed after you perform the conversion of regular to large table space. So since the MRT is changed, even if you have a backup image which is taken before uh, performing such conversion, you can use that backup image, you can restore and roll forward to end of logs or to a point in time which is greater than MRT but not less than MRT. So we know that already that when, when we have certain tables in that table space, when we change the columns of the table, alter the definition of the uh, table so the DDL changes right so the DDL changes will update the MRT of the table space as well uh, that we know but also uh, in this tip what I am going to um, tell is MRT is also changed by uh, the conversion of regular to large table space so so since the MRT is also changed the point in time recovery is impacted so so what is the solution for that? The solution is to establish a new baseline backup. So you can take a backup of the table space or the database uh, once that uh, after the conversion from regular to large. So you have to establish a new baseline backup. That, that is a simple solution. So as usual, let's uh, look into few examples. So this is going to be a simple example. Um, so here, okay. So I am connecting to the database DBase. It is already uh, configured for the archival logging. So uh, only on recoverable database you will have the concept of MRT also. So it's configured for archival logging. So I am going to create a new uh, table space, regular table space, MRT. Uh, I am just dropping the table and I am creating the table. I am adding few records and I am committing and I am using the table uh, function mon get table space. I'm passing the table space name MRT to get the table space minimum recovery time. So let us just run uh, this thing in in a single shot. So here I have the uh, connected to the database. The instance is started and all. It's creating the table space. It's uh, it is dropping the table. There is no table out there. So it has created the table, and uh, the records are also complete. Uh, the insertion of the records are also complete commit has happened and you can see the select table space has returned the table space minimum recovery time for the man get table space MRT table space okay so 2016 11 8 21 uh, 21 53 49 is the MRT time so let us wait for for some time okay let us wait for maybe a minute or so so they, then only uh, we'll be able to see that right I think the command is date yeah so 21 54 29 is the time so i'm just going to give some time and uh, then perform the uh, conversion so i just want to show that right so uh, let me convert now okay yeah and it's a warning message it is saying once such a uh, conversion is done uh, make sure that you reorganize your indexes and table like that okay so that is fine so even if you don't do that right still you can see that see here so it's now 53 was the MRT now the MRT got updated see here 5445 right so so whatever transactions that were done so here you are seeing like I'm, I'm just doing it in one minute so probably uh, uh, for example let's say uh, the the table space had an MRT time of yesterday and today and today I am performing the the conversion so my MRT will become today's date so one day right so between that one day of transactions I cannot do a point in time recovery right so that that is that is the thing that I'm highlighting uh, we need to be uh, aware or cautious about what are all the operations that are going to change the table space minimum recovery time because it impacts the point in time recovery as well so so even if you have yesterday's uh, or day before yesterday's backup image 
you can restore and roll forward to end of logs or to a point in time which is greater than the MRT only. So somewhere in between, you can't do that. So just uh, th so that is the tip that I'm I'm providing in this uh, video tutorial. Hope this information was useful to you. Subscribe to my channel in youtubecom db 2 Academy. See you in the next video tutorial. Until then, bye bye.